Hey guys, this is Orlando with Sin City Cycling and I'm going to make a brief video here about a little trick I just invented maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking I might be one of the first to ever do it. Anyway, I have some issues with the cabling on our S-Works uh, tarmac project, the uh, China frame. Uh, I wanted to refix, I wanted to fix the cables. Anyway, long story short, uh, they are tangled, I don't know if we can even see here but they are tangled up in there somewhere. And you can see I had to undo everything and now I'm gonna pull the front derailleur cable out and then send the rear down and uh, hopefully they'll end up untangled in this little area here. If you remember from one of our last videos, we uh, uh, had replaced that. Um, not replaced, but uh, put it back to where it was supposed to be. It was coming undone because of the cabling being wrong. Anyway, uh, so I didn't want to replace these cables. So what I did was I had bought uh, assorted heat shrink tubing for our Venge project. And the idea was to uh, heat shrink this over the outer casings that come in contact with the frame. So I was hoping that this would protect the frame. But uh, those of you who've seen uh, the Venge uh, overhaul, uh, the cables aren't touching the frame. So I ended up not needing them. So I was trying to work with this without having to cut this end off. And I had the idea, why not just put some heat shrink tubing on there? So I selected one of these little tiny guys, like here, and uh, slid it over the cable, over the frayed part. And uh, then I used a torch to shrink it down. And uh, as you can see here, it's on there, man. It, it's on there good. Uh, I also did another area further down. Uh, I have not had any issues yet with trying to route these cables. Um, that doesn't mean there's not gonna be one. Anyway, I thought I would share this idea. Uh, maybe some of you guys can use it. Uh, maybe some of you guys have already done it. Let me know down in the comments. As always, I am Orlando. This is my Chinese S-Works. Peace.